Must have been a roller coaster for the last week. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, uh, one of the things that was a definite was, you know, I was in fight mode. I was mentally prepared to fight. So, you know, when uh, unfortunately Mike, Wil Mike Wilkinson got injured, you know, it, it uh, the first thing that went through my mind was, uh, you know, that's it. They're not going to be able to find an opponent. And, uh, you know, uh, I was trying to stay positive, stay upbeat. You know, it's, the UFC is the best in the world, so if, if it can be done, it will be done. So, uh, you know, I was talking with Sean Shelby, and, you know, after a day or two, you know, he said, don't worry, you know, you know, we, you know, we have someone in mind. And uh, when he told me it was Robert Whiteford, I, I wasn't so happy anymore, you know. I was looking at his fight footage, and uh, he's, uh, he's very tough, you know. Um, as he likes to brawl and, and he, he has a judo background like myself, which, uh, you know, kind of threw me for a loop because, you know, a judo background is pretty rare. Um, you know, watching, watching his fights, I kind of knew, you know, uh, I would have to throw some stuff at him that, that normally wasn't thrown. So, you know, he was a very game opponent, very tough, and uh, again, I was just glad the UFC could find me an opponent. How pleased are you with the overall performance? Again, those people who know Whiteford know that he, he's, he's a dangerous guy and he brings a lot to the table. And you, you seem to nullify ev everything that he offered. How pleased are you with how you've done tonight? Uh, you know, I was very pleased because, uh, you know, when, when you watch, you know, film on an opponent, you know, I really had to take a back seat and, and admire his work, you know, and, uh, you know, as a fighter, you don't like to say that, but, you know, I was watching his film and saying, man, he has a good base, you know, he, he's good at nullifying judo, uh, he has real good clinch and upper body, and he also hits, you know, like a Mack truck. So, um, you know, me, I, I, was, I was trying to just stay in my game and keep the pressure on him, and, uh, you know, props for him for, for taking a fight on short notice, and, you know, I can't say it enough, you know, he's a tough bastard. A beautiful tune in the first round and a submission attempt that we rarely see outside of jiu-jitsu tournaments. What went wrong? How come you didn't get the finish? Um, you know what? I think uh, my brother, um, uh, he's a real good judo player himself. Uh, that's actually his move. He throws the, the Maki Komi uh, into that uh, leg Kimura. And uh, I, th I think he put a curse on me because if I would have hit it on in the UFC, I think I would have never let him live it down. So I think he actually put a curse on me and, and made it so I couldn't yet quite finish it. Can you talk us through how you eventually got the submission? What was that? One more time? Can you take us through how you eventually got the submission? Uh, yeah, you know, I, had a, uh, I have good transitions from the back uh, into submissions. And um, usually when I have a body triangle on someone, you know, I can't really be budged. Um, but I, I, I felt myself moving and moving and moving, which just goes to show you how strong he is. So, you know, I, at one point I knew I was, I was going to get bucked off. So uh, as soon as I felt like I was going, uh, one, of my, one of my submissions is a triangle from the back. And I just felt myself going. So, you know, I thought, what the hell, let's give it a try. And uh, luckily it went real smooth. I'm not going to ask you to call anybody out because that's not our stuff. But what what kind of challenge would you like next? Is there somebody is there somebody right now that represents that challenge to you, or a, a type of fighter that you'd like to get in there with next? Oh uh, no, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. You know, uh, everyone they give me so far has been a tough sob. So uh, there's no point in calling someone out when uh, you know they have plenty of, of tough guys to throw at me. But ideally, what what are you looking for? You know, obviously a step up in, in the rankings, for example. But are you looking for again another grappler? Do you want to get in there with again with somebody whose stand up is you know considered their go to thing? Is there a style of fighter that you'd like to go in there and test yourself against now? You know, I, I wish I could help answer your question. Yeah, you know, sure. but I'm pretty easygoing. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know, a lot of times I get in there with people that I think I could have better striking then, and then they outstrike me and I have to take them down. Or if I think I have better grappling than someone, then my grappling will suck and I'll have to strike with them, you know? So it's like I flip the coin every time I'm in there and, and you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, it seems like you're a pretty chilled, chilled out, laid back guy. How much does that actually help you in the cage? How much does this attitude and, and this personality that you're showing us now help you in there? Because it must. I still get scared out of my shoes, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, uh, I was always laid back, you know. Uh, I'm not a typical MMA fighter, you know. I don't get angry very much. Um, uh, and I have a real tough girlfriend, so when I get angry, she usually hits me. So, um, But that's it. You know, I like to go with the flow. And, and I truly am blessed to be in the UFC, and uh, I don't take that for granted at all. So anytime I get to fight in here, you know, it's really a blessing, and there's no point in being angry about it. Jimmy, did you expect your judo to cancel out Robert's judo? Because you hit him with two judo throws in both rounds. Were you expecting to get them that or did you think it was going to be a stalemate in judo terms? Um, I, I knew his judo was good. He comes from a great judo background. Uh, um, but no gi, you know, judo, I've been, you know, working no gi judo for a long time uh, with 
Justin Flores, who is a you know Olympian and, and everything like that. And I've also been working a lot of freestyle wrestling. So uh, I kind of knew uh, I'd have the upper hand in the judo uh, section. The question was if I'd be able to get my hands on him um, because he does hit so hard. The last question, guys. Anyone you'd like to thank? Um, all my training camp, uh, world class boxing, uh, AMA Fight Club, um, Northeastern Jiu Jitsu, Swordsville Submission Wrestling. Um, uh, Andy and Mike Main at Pure, and I'm sure I'm missing someone, but that's it. You know. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Great performance. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Excellent.